Hope you're all well. Um, I expect you're dying to know what happened as of the last episode. Well, what basically happened was I had to go to the police station in the end. Um, there was something to do with the transport people, the partner or something had sort of been involved with stolen goods and vans and all sorts of stuff uh, and there was something about a wanted person that's why all the police and the helicopter was there that was some days ago now um, we've had to sit down with the police and a solicitor and talk to them about what's happening with it all because they weren't it was all stolen money and stuff um, so we've basically got to pay the six hundred thousand pounds back that we were paid for the the land and the buildings so that's left us down quite a bit so that money's gone and we've got our the whole of the farm back I was wondering whether to take down these fences or not but I think what a lot of people seem to be doing nowadays is hiring it out hiring their buildings out to as a sort of commercial premises so I think we'll look at uh, advertising this at some point soon as commercial and then someone else can take it over but maybe just for rent all this time to avoid all the aggravation so and then obviously I was in the clear and let off and it was nothing to do with me so that's how it is now what we were just up to then, we were at the workshop I just had to pop down the shop and get some maize seed to put in this planter that we've borrowed which we've put on the T7 because a little field over there we were gonna just leave but someone had asked if we could possibly plant the cover crop for pheasants and stuff which we said yeah okay so we'll just put this away now we just fill that up put our trailers away from last time and the class is in here now so we'll just leave that on top of there for now and we'll go and drill the field that up, lift it up, we just had to supply some maize seed, it was already full up with um, fertiliser, someone else had been using it I think, and they just washed it off, I think it's one that the shops do a demo in that they're high they hiring out.
obviously they let us borrow it. It's the widest mounted one they've got. We would have to pay if uh, we wanted to trail with one. If we get time today, we're just going to try out our Rhino Muller that we've got, which we haven't used yet on the front, the glass out the front. So we'll try and get this seeded. said someone else does want to use it. Combine still sitting there. Let's see if we've done anything with it. Probably only used for the scrap now.
think we're just going to give this a look over and check the gearboxes and give it a grease up first. Just check the blades and stuff. Make sure that's all right. Ah, so that's all sorted. Just got cleaned up having, after having a look at that. So we can go and mow out the front now. leave it as a bit of a sort of wild area on this corner like we did before when we mowed the grass just cut it away from the bank there a bit try and keep it a bit tidy along the bank edge river bank edge That looks a bit tidier. 
we'll have to try and get these bushes removed at some point. We'll have a look a bit neater out there. This model off here. Oh, I think we put the hedge cutter on now because we've been planting late autumn here. We went and go out and cut a few hedges. So we'll put this on ready. So we get this looked over and then we'll send the worker out doing some hedge cutting I think for a little while. So that's where I'm going to leave this vlog for this time and we'll see you again in the next one. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.